Hello and welcome to Design Patterns. In this video, I will show you the organizational part of the lecture. So let's start right away. First, I will shortly show you an introduction to the lecture. Then I will go over the course organization. And in the end, I will talk about grading, deadlines, exam dates. My name is Michael and I'm teaching this course together with my colleague Georg and we are both from the Institute of Technical Informatics. Georg is into the topics of safety, security in automotive and autonomous driving and I am more into the research topics of uncertainty propagation, expert judgment and vehicle simulation. And now a little bit of advertisement for our institute. If you are interested in doing a bachelor or master thesis in the area of technical informatics, you can join us on our Discord server, where the link is on the bottom here. And we will present our topics, our current topics for students on Tuesday, the 12th of October. So if you are interested, just come by and look what we have to offer. And maybe there is some interesting stuff. Our institute has five areas, which is the Networked Embedded Systems Group, led by Professor Kai Römer and Carla Buano. Then we have the Embedded Automotive Systems Group, led by Professor Marcel Baunach. Then the Hardware Software Co-Design Group, led by Professor Christian Steger. The Smart Services Group, by Professor Brenner and the Industrial Informatics, led by Georg Macher. And this is the group where I come from. As you can see, we are on the connection side between software and hardware. So what we do is sometimes very hardware related, but also, as you can see in smart services, software related. Now I want to show you some of the content in the lecture, but just a glimpse, just a very high level overview. So we will talk about design patterns and we will talk about many of them. So as you can see, the lecture will contain the adapter, the command, the broker, lazy acquisition, counted pointer, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, this is quite an amount of, of patterns. But every week we will uh, cover five to ten patterns and then in the end we will have covered all of them. So graphically we also depict these patterns like this here, but it's just for, <laughs> just for impression. Uh, you don't have to remember them yet. So what are the learning goals for the lecture? Of course you should know the common design patterns which are used in the field and which are used out there and which really prove to be helpful. So we will cover around 50 patterns, some in more detail and some more on the surface such that you at least know the name and the core idea. But you should also know the principles and good practices behind those design patterns. What are good practices in general uh, software development to implement maintainable, readable and understandable code. It is important that you know when and how to apply these design patterns in software development. Regardless of the programming language or the development environment, it is also important that you know what you're doing and what the consequences of applying design patterns are. So you should be able to derive those consequences for the individual context you are applying it to. You should avoid over-engineering and misuse of patterns. Don't just blindly throw patterns on every problem you see. Think about it and uh, have a reason when to use which pattern. In the end, it's about making reasonable design decisions and come up with a software architecture which fits to your current problem and your current requirements. So you have to balance out the consequences, requirements and forces in order to come up with a useful solution. Now to the course organization. The Design Patterns Lecture, the Vorlesung, is organized as flipped classroom. What does this mean? So first, all of this information is also available in Teach Center at the link you see on the slide. 
and the lecture itself will or is planned always on Wednesdays from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. And now comes something strange. The first hour of every lecture is planned for watching lecture videos together. Because that is the way how the theoretical content is delivered. Either you watch them alone when you have time, or we have the, the time to watch them together, either in the lecture room or online. And there I have pre-recorded videos from the last years where I tell you all the theoretical content you need to know for the exam. Then we have a coffee break and afterwards comes an interesting part, which is completely voluntarily, but very useful. We will do a discussion round. We will do pattern quizzes. We will do exam preparations together, where we, we will discuss actual exam questions and you try to answer them and we will discuss all those answers and see if we can work out the correct ones and discuss the wrong ones and maybe get some reasons why they are not that wrong. Maybe get an understanding of the different viewpoints of design patterns. How this actually will work out, you will see in the first few lectures. So I will guide a discussion. I will give you some exam questions. You will answer them in Feedbacker and then we will discuss these questions together. If you have some questions by yourself, of course, you can ask me. And all this serves as, as means to reason about the content and reflect on it and discuss it. Because this is where we will all learn the most. Just passively watching the videos is not that useful than actively discussing it with others. As you can see, the theoretical content is delivered via the lecture videos online. They will be available in Teach Center. They will also be available in Theograd's Tube and YouTube. All the links will be in Teach Center. So the contact times will only be used for discussions and questions. We will alternate between lectures in, in presence in lecture hall I1 and online in big blue button. And we will alternate every second week between these modes. And you can attend whatever you want. So people who are not here in presence will also get the chance to take part in these discussions. Oh, <laughs> the exam. So this is the only required part. For the exam, you have to register separately. The exam is on the 26th of January 2022. And the exam will be online in the exam teach center, which is an own instance of our teach center of Theograts. Regarding the dates, as you can see, we will always meet on Wednesday between 1 p.m. and most of the time 4 p.m. Sometimes the lecture is a little bit shorter, like today. And you can also already see the contents and patterns which we will cover in the respective lectures. Really important part for you is the exam date at the end. Of course, there will be more exams distributed over the semester, but you don't have to do them. So the planned exam date for you is the one in January. So now let's get over to the exercises. Again, the central point of information is the Teach Center. It's a different link. The exercises will consist of three tasks. So the first task is to implement a simple game. This will be done in partner work. So you have to search for a group member and after you established groups, I randomly assign you a game topic like chess or tic-tac-toe or another simple game. The task is then to sit together with your group member and discuss a software design and architecture, how to implement this game and then to implement it actually. And uh, it doesn't matter to me which programming language you choose as long as it's a normal programming language, no esoteric ones. And 
it doesn't matter to me which platform. So it could be Android, it could be iOS, it could be a web application, it could be a normal Windows desktop application if you want. So this is completely up to you, but you should use design patterns. And you will find online a few more requirements. For example, you should implement commands. It should be possible to rewind some steps in the game. Also, you should implement replays so that we can save a game and load it again and watch all the steps. So this makes things a little bit difficult but forces you to use some design patterns already. And I'm very curious about which solutions you come up with. In Teach Center, there is a more detailed description how the requirements look like. And please don't waste too much time on graphics. Graphics is not that important to me. It's about application and usage of design patterns. The second task is then to read and analyze other source code. In the first task, you have to implement some project, then you have to upload it to Teach Center, and then these projects will be assigned randomly to other students, and then you have to analyze. You have to download the source code, you have to search for design patterns and analyze the design and architecture. For that, you have to write short reports, short reviews of the other projects and upload it again to Teach Center. In the end, you have to present your project to others. So this is a presentation in front of the other students where you show them the genius ideas and the perfect design of your game. And you show them how you implemented it and what is special about it. All this is organized in three groups, but the groups only affect the third task, the dates when your presentations will be. The first two tasks can be done regardless of the group. So we have a December group, which will do the presentations in presence at the Institute. Also a group in January, which will do their presentations in presence and an online group, which will do their presentations in big blue button in December. Here are the exact deadlines and dates. So today is just the organizational part. On the 20th of October, there will be a group bazaar where those who didn't find a group partner yet can find together and form groups. Already on the next day, the first task will be assigned to the established groups. So the topics will be assigned. First uh, should think of a design and architecture and then start implementing the project together. The effort should be 50-50 for each student. Everyone should contribute approximately the same effort. Four weeks later, you should upload your finished implementations into Teach Center again. And then a few days later, all these uploads, these submissions, will be distributed out to each of you again. And you should write a review about this. So you should download the source code, read it. You don't have to execute the uh, application but you should at least try to understand how the design looks like, how the software architecture is built up, and write a short project review, around half a page to a page per project. For that, we have around two weeks time. And then for the online group, the presentations start. As you can see in the middle, the online group starts on 6th of December. We have the whole day time scheduled, but we will not need the whole day. So this is just a buffer in order to shift around it a little bit. Because I know not every one of you has all the time to be here all day. So we can determine the exact date before that. Still, we will try to hold the whole thing compact and do everything in one to do days. Since the presentations will only take about 10 to 15 minutes, we should be able to fit all presentations in one day if needed. 
but we could also distribute it to two or more days. Okay, so now to finish this video, I ask you to please open up a feedbacker, which is a web page where you can do anonymous feedback and tell me some questions so that I know a little bit more about your knowledge background. I've prepared five questions. And the first is, tell me which of the following programming concepts do you know? Structured programming, object-oriented programming, and so on. Then, which programming languages do you know and already use? Then, what is your main university course? Your favorite programming language? And what do you expect to learn in this course? These help me to steer the content of the course a little bit and adapt it to your needs. I also ask you to enter some design patterns, which you already know, into a word cloud. And I'm very curious which patterns you already know. Okay, with that, I say thank you for the attention and have a good start into the semester.